All right, guys, so uh, trapping season's over for the most part. We've still got beaver season. So uh, trapping a few beaver here, and we're in this creek, and this is a pinch point in it, and I got a, a 330 submerged right there in the pinch point, and you can see there's a big old beaver down there. So that's good. We'll get this beaver out and have a little better look at him. All right, guys, so there's our beaver. We got him up out of the creek there. Uh, there's Hatchet sitting on his back there for comparison if he's not 50 pounds he's uh he's just underneath it so i'm saying more like 50 52 pounds that's a good good big creek beaver uh got a few more sets to check okay so uh we're just down from that conibear set and actually upstream which is where that big beaver came from and i've got a caster mount set here i was hoping if i caught the big beaver in the uh conibear that means the caster mount set was uh, plugged up and looks like I'm right there's the uh, there's the caster mount right there you can see my two little subtle guide sticks and then right there you can see what looks to be a real nice big beaver there in the water so uh, we're gonna pull up the drowning cable there and uh, have a look see at him okay so we got this beaver pulled up here uh, you can see there's there's my caster mount right there and uh, here's the beaver that was attached to it a uh, real nice beaver a little bit smaller than the other one probably this one yeah here's probably in the uh no oh, mid 40s or so but uh still a real nice beaver but uh i was stress using you know a good big trap for uh for beavers and mb 750 right there front foot catch did a real good job on them so it's high enough up where it can't twist off and it's good catch good front foot catch so uh you know there's a couple more in here we're gonna get this this reset here and uh try for some more all right two beavers not bad all right guys so uh doing a little beaver trapping here uh the main land season is over with but we still got, still got beaver season so uh doing a little beaver trapping here uh this guy actually called me the beavers were uh cutting down all his trees so getting in here and trying to take them all out but uh he's got this creek running into his property and you can see the beavers have built it up and it's real shallow right here except for just right there in the channel uh is the only place deep enough to drown them so uh what i did was i came here and i took this stick and uh used it for a toggle basically and you can see i just took my pogo and just attached it and then it's about a little over knee deep good enough to drown a beaver out there and uh also as was you could see they've got this where they've kind of built a dam piled up and i just uh just put trap right there and then uh just a little caster up there on that uh on that stick and you can see here what it produced that's a perfect catch there just what you want to see that's a mb 750 not a very big beaver maybe 18 20 pounds but uh you know it got him that's that's important on this job so uh, it's a good deal we'll get this guy here reset it and uh go for the big one got one big one yesterday at 330 50 pounders so uh, that's good uh we're gonna try to get them all out of here all right guys so uh, here's the finished set uh just this big limb here for uh, my anchor point and then i could just kind of built that back up how i had it uh you can see i just got a little caster smeared right there and the trap is right there and uh you can see how i set set the trap this way it's just sitting down there but uh i always like to set my beaver traps where the jaws close close like up this way not this way that way and beavers they got a short foot and uh you know if you get them where your jaws are this away as that jaw closes it could potentially throw that foot out of the uh out of the trap but if you put them this way then it closes up and around so uh, just a little tip but uh, there's a little quick easy set there all right guys so uh we're checking sets today here uh we've got just our uh our beaver and our otter season uh, you can see how this creek narrows down right here and uh I had a 330 set right here. I, uh, I had a 330 set right there too. It's the two places where it narrows down. 
caught an otter there two days ago. Uh, didn't have my camera with me. But uh, today, I do have my camera with me. And the otter I picked up two days ago was a male. And I'm saying, this is the big female. Nope, it's another male actually. Another male otter. Uh, good deal. A little tangled up here. Let me get her. Big ol' otter. Like I said, set them pinch points, guys. That's a second otter in three days. These two sets. That's a nice big male otter at 330 hammered him. Perfect catch. It's a good deal. Uh, we'll get this guy out of the trap and we'll reset and see if we can uh, get another one. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, checking traps today here. Uh, you can see this creek here. See all the fencing I did. And normally, I don't like to fence them off this much, but uh, really had no choice here. Uh, there was just no real pinch point, so I made a pinch point. And I put the pinch point right in the center of the creek, deepest set. And there's Mr. Otter for us. So that's a good deal. We'll get this guy out, uh, have a little better look at him. All right, so there's our otter. We got him up out of water there. CDL 330 did a good job to him. Uh, that's three otters in the last four days he got out of here, so that's a good deal. Let them set now. All been males, so uh, that's good. We'll uh, get this guy out of the trap, get home. Till next time, guys.